new to SQL Server 2005 is this output clause. And the output clause is actually pretty cool. I need to start out by explaining what the inserted and deleted tables are all about. The inserted and deleted tables are available usually only inside of a trigger. Now a trigger is a small piece of code that fires as a result of an action on a table, input, update, delete, and you'll have a trigger that fires and it runs a little bit of code inside the transaction. And there's a lesson coming up on programming triggers later in this series. And until now, the inserted and deleted tables were available only inside of the trigger so you could see what was happening so you could write code inside the trigger. But the output now makes those inserted and deleted tables available outside of the trigger, which is very, very cool. And I think we can exploit this to do some fantastic code as far as writing audit trails and doing some cool things. So the way this works is using the output clause, we can see the inserted and deleted tables. And the inserted tables has an image of the data that's being inserted or the changes. The deleted virtual table has an image of what the data looked like before the insert or update. When you're doing an insert, only the inserted table has the new data. The deleted table is empty. During an update, you can see the change between the deleted and the inserted table. And when you're doing a delete, the inserted table is empty and all you see is the old data in the deleted table. So switching back to the CHA2 database, and if we just run this and insert me as a diver, we see a result set come back from the inserted, which is pretty cool. Doing the update, and now we're going to go ahead and look at the deleted table qualifications and the inserted table qualifications. And we'll be able to see the change. We can see that it was null, and now we just updated that value to scuba. We looked at the same column, we looked at the before and after image of that column. The other thing we can do, so we can, instead of just returning this to the front end, we can work with it within code, is we can store the output into a table variable. And table variables we'll talk about later when we talk about T-SQL programming. It's basically what looks like a table, but it exists as a variable, so it's scoped like a variable. So I'm going to declare the table variable. It begins with an at sign, just like any other variable, and has columns, just like any other table. Then I run a delete command, outputting three columns, which match up to the table variables. And this is going to be an output into that table variable. And then I'll select from the table variable. Because it's a table variable, it is scoped only within a batch, so we have to run all three of these as one batch. So highlighting all three and executing. And the result we're seeing here is not being generated just simply by the output command here, but the output was sent to the deleted guides table variable, and then we selected from that table variable down below. So modifying data, we talked about inserting, updating, and deleting, and how you can do some output with it as well.